just got this guitar playing. Um, uh, the reason why I'm sharing this, just this as a video, because I like the story behind this guitar, and I think it's really pretty. It's a Tisco Del Rey, um, and any information that someone might have is you can put in the comments on these. But as of right now, everything is working, um, as far as I can tell. Um, so the story behind this guitar. Uh, my family had a, another family over for dinner, and I have guitars hanging all over the place in the house. So, of course, that became a topic of conversation. And the guy, um, I'll call him Dan, that's his name, um, he had said that he has a guitar, but it wasn't playable. And he said that his wife told him to throw it in the trash. Um, so I said, hey, if you're going to throw it in the trash, throw it my way. But... Um, now he, would, he had said that he'd like to get it playing and he thought the neck was bad. So I said, let me take a look at it. You know, I like to hear, get things working that aren't working. Um, and the story how he got it is um, interesting to me too. So he said he was at a flea market one day and I think he was out of town, he's a truck driver. Um, so he was at a flea market and he saw these guitars and amps for sale, and he was going to buy one anyway, but the guy that was selling them was saying, today's my birthday, and uh, my kids didn't get me a present, so i got to sell my guitars to buy myself a present. So, like I said, that didn't sway Dan. He was going to buy it anyway, so he bought the guitar, and um, I guess he happened to go back the next day to the flea market, and he overheard the guy saying the same shtick to somebody else, like, Hey, today's my birthday. And anyway, it was, he just thought that was funny. And I thought that was funny, so I thought I'd share it. Um, but really, the, the guitar just needed a really good cleaning. Um, I didn't take the pick guard off, although I did. There's a couple holes in there that I did put, uh, clean it out and put a little drop of uh, rubbing alcohol in there. And I worked the pots because they were scratchy. But the main thing that it needed were just new strings and some adjustments. And the, the uh, nut was... It must have been in a hot area or something. It was um, moved over, but still like kind of re-glued. I guess it maybe it unglued itself and moved over and then kind of sealed up again. So I just had to straighten that out. Um, it was missing one of these bushings. I had one in a jar I was able to give him. Um, the tuners are all original. Uh, it's like everything is working as far as the pickups. Um, and it just needed a good clean. So I just thought I'd share this pretty guitar. Um, let me show you the pickups. So that's just the bridge pickup. This is the middle. And here is the neck. you have any combination of those. This is all of them. really well and um, those are usually not they're usually missing when you uh, find these things so it's it's pretty much intact and one other note if you ever have one of these and you have buzzing um, this bridge that was switched so it was taken off and turned 180 degrees so then that meant that the, the fat E string had a, a tiny um, groove and the, the skinny E string had a, a fat groove. I think I said that properly. Um, yeah, that was the only thing. So if you ever have one of these 
and it's buzzing, you try to turn, or we'll look first and see if they're off. And then you can turn it around. And the only other thing with the strings off, I lost the, uh, I dropped this, uh, this spring like five times. So make sure you just take that off and set it aside. The neck I cleaned up and oiled too. But I don't know if he, this is gonna be a good guitar for him to learn on, but I think he's kind of sentimental about it just because of the way he got it. And um, he just liked the story behind it. So it actually plays pretty well. Um, it's, it's not, the action is pretty good. Um, I was able to set it up pretty well. The neck is pretty straight as far as I can tell. I did do a little adjustment there. But um, hopefully I somebody out there can enjoy looking at this pretty guitar. Um, I don't know the year, but I, I do know it's a Tisco Del Rey. Three pickups. Um, really, really pretty guitar. I've said that five times probably at least, but it's, it, is, it is a really pretty guitar and it's, it'd be going nice in anyone's collection. So um, thank you for checking in on this and uh, I'll keep you updated. Um, I'll, I should share this on Instagram also as well. And um, we'll, maybe I'll get together with this Dan and if I can, if we can get together and uh, learn a few um, little riffs together and maybe we can show, he can play this one and I'll play my other Japanese guitar sometime. All right, thanks for checking this out.